okay good morning everyone in the previous lecture we ended with the laplace transform and we had to start with the inverse laplace transform in this lecture so so transform laplace transform fourier transform these are two way things by two way i mean to say that you have f of t you can find the fourier transform of it and if you have a fourier transform then you can apply inverse fourier transform formula and you can get f of t from it so these are two way things f of t f of lambda in the similar manner laplace transform is also two way so one way i can get the fourier transform of it and from the uh, sorry one way we can get the laplace transform of it and the other way from laplace transform i am able to find out the original function so in the previous lecture we have studied how to get the laplace transform from the given function and now what we are going to do we are given a function and from given function what i want to do is so i will have the for laplace transform and from the laplace transform i need to get the original function so formulas are same formulas are same i mean to say i will take laplace inverse of 1 by s anyone what it can be shaunak laplace inverse of 1 by s what it can be f of 1 1 very good so uh, we know that laplace of 1 is equal to 1 by s so laplace inverse of 1 by s is equal to 1 so even if you remember any one of the list that is fine okay so what i am going to do is now i will make the uh, list of what we have studied there and what will be its interpretation in the laplace inverse what will be the formulas so second laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus a advait जानवी मोहिते लैप्लास इनवर्स ऑफ वन अपॉन एस माइनस ए नॉट देर आयुष बोथरा विराज काये वरदा येवलेकर यश रुक जाओ ना दिस दिस इज नॉट आर्बिट्री आई मीन आई एम कॉलिंग आई हैव टू गिव द मार्क्स सो आई शुड नो हु अटेंड एंड हु डोंट अटेंड द लेक्चर रेगुलरली ओनली आई एम ऑब्जर्विंग दैट टू टू थ्री स्टूडेंट्स आर आंसरिंग जस्ट मेकिंग इट क्लियर anyway so e to the power 80 so laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus a is equal to e to the power 80 as we know that laplace of e to the power 80 is equal to 1 upon s minus a 
the next one laplace inverse of 1 upon a square plus a square so laplace of sine of 80 i know that it is a upon a square plus a square a being constant i can take it on the other side so i will have 1 upon a laplace of sine of 80 is equal to 1 upon a square plus a square also we know that i can take constant inside the laplace also outside the laplace this we have proved so laplace of sine of 80 upon a is equal to 1 upon a square plus a square so what we are going to do is the sine of 80 upon a is the laplace inverse of 1 upon a square plus a square so sine of 80 by a next one laplace inverse of s upon a square plus a square is equal to cos of 80 this is simply by the previous list for the laplace transforms next laplace inverse of 1 upon a square minus a square this is again sin h of 80 we know that hyperbolics will have minus in the denominator sin h of 80 upon a laplace inverse of s upon a square minus a square this will be simply cos h of 80 <coughs> next one laplace inverse of 1 upon s raised to n plus 1 Now, yes, what it will be? Sir, uh, t, t raised to n minus 1. Sure. This is s raised to n minus. plus 1. What does Laplace of t raised to n? n gamma, uh, gamma of n plus 1. T n gamma n plus 1. S raised to n plus, n plus 1. So Laplace inverse of 1 upon S raised to n plus 1 will be T raised to n upon gamma of n plus 1. I've just uh, gamma of n plus 1 is a constant. So I can adjust it anywhere. So Laplace inverse of 1 upon s raised to n. This is the formula that we will have always. t raised to n minus 1 upon gamma of n. Take the screenshot. Keep it with you. As you will see the solving examples, we will need this. Them. Find the inverse Laplace transforms. Find 
द इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ फर्स्ट वन फोर अपॉन थ्री एस माइनस वन सेकेंड वन टू एस प्लस वन अपॉन एस इन टू एस प्लस वन सो लैपलास इनवर्स ऑफ फोर अपॉन थ्री एस माइनस वन वॉट वी एवेज वन अपॉन एस माइनस ए So we have to convert this into that form. So this is four being constant. I can take it outside. Three I can take common from the denominator. So I will have one upon s minus one by three. Laplace inverse of one upon s minus a is e to the power at. So t by three is our answer. then laplace inverse of 2s plus 1 upon s into s plus 1 this is not in the given form so what we are going to do is we will uh, separate this so how can i write the numerator is s plus S plus one upon S into S plus one. So if I separate the denominator, what we will have Laplace inverse of in bracket S upon S into S plus one plus S plus one upon S into S plus one. Anyone having problem? This. This gets cancelled out. So what do we have? Laplace inverse of one upon s plus one plus one upon s. Laplace inverse separates over addition and subtraction. So Laplace inverse of one upon s minus of minus one plus one upon s. E to the power minus t plus One, check the calculation. An example, number three. So we need to find the Laplace inverse of 3s minus 12 upon s square plus 8. Fourth one. Four s upon s square minus 16. So Laplace inverse of 3s minus 12 upon s square plus 8. So what I can do is I can separate this. So I will have 3s upon s square plus 8 minus 12 upon s square plus 8. so i can separate this laplace inverse over this subtraction so laplace inverse of 3s upon s square plus 8 it is nothing but a root 8 square minus laplace inverse of 12 upon s square plus 8 so what we'll do here i'll take 3 outside Being constant, Laplace inverse of s upon s square plus root eight 
whole square minus 12 being constant will come outside a laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus root 8 whole square so what is this 3 times cos 8 cos laplace inverse of cos of root 8 into t right minus 12 sine of sine of root 8 into t divided by a what is your a root 8 so we can simplify this root 8 is 2 root 2 2 so you will have 6 3 cos of root 8 into t minus uh, 6 into 2 so 6 upon root 2 sine of root 8 into t this is the laplace inverse again root 2 can be cancelled out like uh, this can be written as minus 3 root 2 sine of root 8 into t and this is equal to 3 cos of root 8 into t this is the final answer sir uh, if we don't simplify it's okay no it's okay no problem uh, when we take the laplace inverse then uh, the final answer like 3 cos root 8 t that's okay yes it's okay it's okay no problem at all but sometimes uh, if the question is mcq question then you will have to simplify it in order to match it with some of the options and Ah, okay. If it is theory, there is no problem at all. You can write yes, wherever you are comfortable up to. Okay, sir. So you can solve the fourth question. Shonak? Yes, sir. What is the answer for the fourth one? Uh, four, four cos uh, under root six t. Four cos? Uh, four cos under root six t. No. Sir, four so Laplace inverse of four s upon s square minus 16 so 4 will come outside laplace inverse of s upon s square minus 4 square so this is 4 times cos h of 40 sir uh, actually i saw the right side of the question okay the right side kai tha wo that 16 looks like uh, i mean the one looks like plus okay mm, fine next question fifth Laplace inverse of a1 upon s plus a2 upon s square plus a3 upon s cube 
and sixth one Laplace inverse we have to find off three times a square minus one whole square upon two s raised to five. So Laplace inverse separates over addition. You can take out the constant. So I will have a one Laplace inverse of one by s plus a two Laplace inverse of one by s square plus a three Laplace inverse of one upon s cube. So this will be a one Laplace inverse of one upon s raised to n is one t raised to ah uh, sorry this is simply one plus a two this will be t raised to two minus one upon gamma of two plus a three. T raised to three minus one upon gamma of three. So this is a one plus a two into t divided by gamma of two. Gamma of two is equal to gamma of one plus one, which is one gamma of one. Gamma of one is one, so a two t by one plus a three. T square divided gamma of three. Gamma of three means gamma of two plus one, which is two gamma two. Gamma of two, we have seen already. It is one. The answer is two. A three T square divided by two. So last one, three will come outside. Two from the denominator can come outside. Laplace inverse of make the square s raised to four minus two s square plus one upon s raised to five. So this is three by two. Laplace inverse of one upon s minus two pi s cube. Plus one upon s raised to five. So this is three by two. In the first bracket, Laplace inverse of one by s one minus three. Laplace inverse of one upon s raised to three is t raised to two. You have a gamma of three, which is two plus. Three by two Laplace inverse of one upon s raised to five, मतलब t raised to four divided by gamma of five, which is four factorial. So this is three by two minus three into t square by two. Gamma of five is four factorial. Four factorial is twenty four. So one into two into three into four, three three will get cancelled out. So what do we have? Four into two eight eight to the sixteen. T raised to four divided by sixteen. The final.
fine yes sir okay now the shifting properties and erase to at form but before that one miscellaneous example i will give and also i will give you two minutes let's see who can solve it laplace inverse of 6 upon 2s minus 3 minus 3 plus 4s upon 9s square plus 16 Plus eight minus six s upon sixteen s square plus nine. <laughs> Two of you are able to solve it, or I should go solve it. Yes, are you able to solve it? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, we have to just separate all the terms, no? Hmm. Okay. Fine, sir. So we'll skip this question. Just separate the terms and take the inverse. That's it. So the uh. Next thing about the inverse Laplace transform is just like our Laplace transform, the theorem which we can directly use. So if I'll consider Laplace inverse of capital F of S is equal to small f of t, then First one, Laplace inverse of capital F of S plus A is equal to so what we have is. Laplace of e to the power minus eighty into f of t. What we have seen is capital F of s plus a. This was the property that we have seen in the Laplace transform. 
now laplace inverse of capital f of s plus a is actually equal to e to the power minus a t into f of t second just the inverse of what we studied there second laplace inverse of capital f of k into s is equal to now what we have seen there laplace of f of at is equal to 1 upon a capital f of s by a now what i am saying is so i will call this 1 upon a s k if 1 upon a is equal to k then what we have so a will be equal to 1 by k so laplace of f of t e by k is equal to k into f of k into s now 1 upon k f of t e by k is equal to laplace inverse of capital f of k s okay so this is just the manipulation laplace inverse of f of k s is equal to 1 upon k f of t e by k so it is just like the laplace one laplace of f of at is 1 upon a capital f of s by a now laplace inverse of capital f of k s is 1 upon k f of t by k okay so it is similar third one laplace inverse of d by ds capital f of s what we had was laplace of derivative now we are talking about the laplace inverse of the derivative but where was the derivative when there was t into so what you can remember is when did you had derivative on the right hand side when you had multiplication on the left hand side i mean to say laplace of t into f of t what it was minus 1 into d by ds capital f of s so minus 1 being constant i can adjust it on the other side and i can take laplace on the other side so uh minus of t into f of t take laplace on the other side and laplace inverse of d by ds capital f of s so laplace inverse of derivative of f of s is equal to minus t times f of t look everything depends on the list that we have studied in the laplace transform nothing new next laplace inverse of integral s to infinity capital f of s ds is equal to yes if anyone can f of s upon s no you are missing with the notation look when you take laplace transform you get answer in terms of s when you take inverse laplace transform you get answers in terms of t क्योंकि योर ओरिजिनल फंक्शन इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी एफ ऑफ टी का लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म लोगे तो यू गेट अ फंक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एस ओके दिस इज 
basic mistake uh, you have to be very careful with the notation and which way you are going if you are taking laplace transform then f of t ka answer aayega f of s ke form mein when you are taking inverse laplace the original function is in terms of s when you take inverse means you will get function in terms of small f of t so in this case we will have the answer f of t by t so as i said multiplication is related to the derivative integration is related to division laplace inverse of s into capital f of s is equal to f dash of t if f of 0 is equal to 0 this is very important because we know that laplace of f dash of t is equal to s into capital f of s minus f of 0 तो अगर एफ ऑफ जीरो जीरो हो जाता है देन दिस विल बिकम ट्रू सिक्स लैपलास इनवर्स ऑफ कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एस बाय एस दिस इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल जीरो टू टी एफ ऑफ यू डी यू यू नो दैट दैट डिवीजन लेफ्ट पे है तो इंटीग्रेशन राइट पे होना ही चाहिए सेम थिंग इज अगेन द सेकंड लिस्ट टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट मेक अ नोट ऑफ इट ओके एग्जाम्पल ऑप्टेन inverse laplace transform of one upon s plus 4 raised to 6 second s upon s square plus 6s plus 25 so laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus 4 raised to 6 okay what was the theorem laplace inverse of capital f of s plus a will actually be equal to e to the power minus at into f of t what was f of t f of t is nothing but laplace inverse of capital f of s so which means that s plus a jo hai plus part i can remove by simply multiplying by e to the power minus 80 so in this case what do we have here here we have is s plus 4 so e to the power minus 4t laplace inverse of 1 upon s raised to 
any problem with this step okay laplace inverse of 1 upon s raised to 6 is t raised to 6 minus 1 that is 5 upon gamma of 6 so the answer is t raised to 5 e to the power minus 40 divided by 5 factorial so 5 factorial is 12 and 10 120 Is any problem? Okay. Now the next one. So what we need to do is Laplace inverse of S upon S square plus 6 plus 25. So what I can do here is I can make this complete square. I mean 6s is nothing but x square plus 3 2 into 3 into s so a square plus 2ab plus b square b square here has to be 9 right then this term will become s plus 3 whole square so what i am trying to do here is i will make this as s plus 3 square in the numerator what I will have to do, do is, I will have to make S plus 3. So what I'm trying to do is, I'm converting it into this form, capital F of S plus A. So if I convert it to capital F of S plus A, I can separate it. So let me just make this adjustment more clear. Okay, so what I've done here is, Laplace inverse of s upon s square plus 6 s plus 9 plus 20 uh, sorry 16 25 I have written as 9 plus 16 so what is the first term now so this is Laplace inverse of s upon s plus 3 whole square plus 4 square so if you look at the denominator it has converted to the form s square plus a square now in the numerator 2 i have to make plus 3 and minus 3 and so when i separate this So I will separate the denominator now. So what do we get? Laplace inverse of s plus 3 upon s plus 3 square plus 4 square minus 3 times Laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus 3 square plus 4 square look this bracketed term now looks like capital F of s plus 3 now whenever we have this by our first property I can write this as e to the power minus 3t and I will remo remove that plus 3 part so Laplace inverse of s upon s square plus 4 square minus 3 times again capital F of s plus 3 this is so e to the power minus 3t Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus 4 square. So now we will apply the formula e to the power minus 3t common in the bracket s upon s square plus a square is cos of 4 t minus 3 times sine of 4t divided by 4.
This is our final answer. Okay. Example. To find the inverse Laplace transform. of the first one quad inverse s and second log of s plus b upon s plus a okay so Laplace inverse of cot inverse of s. So I will call it say let it, this is equal to f of t. Okay, I don't know the answer. I'm assuming that suppose it is f of t. Then Laplace inverse of derivative of cot inverse of s d by ds of cot inverse of s. By our property, this will have to be minus t time f of t. Right now, what is the derivative of cot inverse s? Derivative of cot inverse of s is minus one upon s square plus one, which is equal to minus t times f of t. Minus and minus will get cancelled out. So Laplace inverse of one upon s square plus one square, which is sine of t. Is equal to t times f of t, which means that f of t is equal to sine t by t. So if you take the plus of sine t by t, you will get cot inverse of s. Next. Laplace inverse of log of s plus b upon s plus a. Suppose this is equal to f of t. So our task is to find f of t. So what we will do is we will take log inverse of, oh sorry, Laplace inverse of log of s plus b minus log of s plus a. Nothing difficult. Just the property of log. Now. I'll take the derivative. So Laplace inverse of d by ds of log of s plus b minus log of s plus a. So derivative on the right hand side, I will have to have minus t times f of t. Now when I take the derivative, what do I get? Laplace inverse of one upon s plus b. Minus one upon s plus a is equal to minus t times f of t. So now, when I take Laplace inverse of one upon s plus b, so what we will have e to the power minus b t. Minus e to the power minus a t is equal to minus t times f of t. So we can simplify this. F of t is equal to e to the power minus a t minus e to the power minus b t divided by t. Everyone clear? So. 
uh, in the next lecture we'll cover a very important type of examples in inverse laplace transform which will be used to solve applications of laplace transform okay so that will be a very important lecture uh 1045 lecture uh, i mean tutorial will be conducted on fourier transforms i'll give you the questions you can start solving thanks okay thank you everyone uh i will uh send you the new link i'll give you the or i will write down the question and i will send you make sure that you submit it before 11:45